Because we just got here from Houston, and my, I haven't unpacked my bag, but that was my favorite product. My, my, my favorite product is Complex X. Why is my favorite product Complex X? Anybody who knows me personally, who knows me, right, understands who I am. And I'm a person that used to have a lot of allergies. I was a person that used to sneeze a lot. I was a person that used to get when the pollen come around, I was dying, my eyes were swollen. I was a person that I would get a quick rash anywhere. Uh, I had all kinds of problems, right? And I used to go to the dermatologist everywhere here and there, and they would explain to me that I, I, you know, the, the, the kind of person that I am is gonna create these kind of things, right? And, and then, so Complex X came around, right? And that's when, when they came around, right? Which is my favorite product. And I'm going to tell you why I recommend it. I'm not telling you this is a cure. I don't want to talk anything that people might try to say anything. But for me, for example, Complex X for me has shown me a lot in me, but also this. How is it possible that I, you know, my immune system was always a little down. I used to get four or five times a year fevers and coughs and the whole nine, right? I don't know if you know what Complex X has inside, but it, you know, go check what it has and you're going to go nuts. Right? And it has so many things that is so powerful that if you use it for a month, you will see things you wouldn't even imagine in you changing. It's not right away, guys. It's not like this. The T, yes, but not the complex X, is gonna build your immune system in a way where you're, gonna be, you're not gonna be scared of anything. Like I had, for example, I was in a house where the baby sneeze, the mother sneeze, the husband sneeze, and the son sneeze. And I had all this, 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 this thing in the air, you know, in the air. And I said, oh shit, I'm probably gonna sneeze. I didn't sneeze at all. I wasn't sneezing. People be sneezing like crazy next to me and I used to sneeze and I don't sneeze anymore. One of the things that happened to me, which, which I believe was, is, is amazing is this. So uh, the godfather of my daughter, for example, he was, he was staying with me for a little while till he found a place over in New York. And he was coughing. He was coughing for, for, for about a week and a half. Every time I used to come home at night or in the morning, he was coughing, coughing. He was like, listen, I got this dry cough. I was like, what the hell? I said, listen, you gotta, you gotta go check yourself, brother. Something is wrong. I've never seen you sneeze like that before. You gotta go check yourself and find out what's happening to you. He said, no, listen, man, it, just may, it might be the cold, it might be this, it might be that. Remember, it was around like January this, February. You know, he had corona. When he left my house and he moved, he was dying and, and he left my house. Remember, he, he took a shower. He was eating in the same place. He was drinking from the same things. He was touching my remote control, right? I was drinking my Complex X. I was drinking my products at that time, right? And I think that that exactly why I didn't get sick. I don't know. It's just, it's so crazy to believe that normally my immune system will be so weak that anybody next to me that had anything, I would catch it. That's how messed up my, my immune system was, right? And then, so I, when then all this shit started going on, it started getting crazy in New York, I did the dip. I went down to Florida, right? So I'm in Florida, right? And, you know, I'm doing my thing in Florida, whatever, you know? And then I get a call from someone whose family that I did a business with, but they had the money in the house. You know, it was a big amount. And it was, you know, I needed to get my bread. And then so the, the son calls me and says, uh, um, you know, that his, his father's about to die, right? And, you know, he thinks he's gonna die. He's throwing up, he's this, he's, I'm like, oh shit. And then he asked me something about the money. I said, you know what? I gotta drive down to New York and get this money. If he dies and I leave this money there, that money, I'm not gonna be able to get it. You know, his wife might be like, oh, I want money. I don't, you know, I don't got a receipt, I got nothing. Like, I left this guy some money. Well, he can't talk anymore. I'm like, all right, nobody can talk anymore. What do you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go tell a lawyer there was money there? No. I lost my bread and it was a good amount of bread, you know? So I drove the next day to Flo uh, from Florida, I drove all the way to New York straight nonstop. Had NRG, Nutriburst, the whole nine, the whole nine. Talk I'm talking about, I came from, from very, from heat to cold in just a few hours, right? And then I get there and everybody's sick, right? So I got my mask and my gloves. I go get the bread, for example, right? And then I go to my sister. She says she's been in the house for over two weeks. Her husband hasn't gone out, right? So he, guess what? He's making me a soup, right? I was just finishing taking me my complex ass. He's making a soup. And while he's making the soup, I'm eating the soup, whatever, we're talking, he's there and I'm here. And guess what? Two hours later, he's like, oh, my ears hurting. I'm getting a little bit of a fever. I'm gonna lay down. I was like, a oh, fever? So I told my sister, listen, if this, if this mother got the corona and he give me corona, there's gonna be some ugly shit. I ain't dying like this. I'm not dying like this. She was like, oh my God, honey, how are you gonna say that? He's been here the whole time. I was like, I ain't dying over here. I'm out. Yo, I got out of there right away, grabbed my stuff and just drove I-95 straight back to Florida. 
crazy. I was looking like a crackhead because I, I, I was just straight. I was like this because I, I didn't want to sleep on the, on the road neither. So I just went all the way straight and it was, it was a crazy experience. But meanwhile, when I get to, uh, to Florida, I'm like, oh my God, I got I to gotta stay in. I went, I brought enough stuff, right? And I stayed in. I was thinking maybe something was going to happen. Nothing. But guys, and there's more stories to that. I don't want to be here talking about all these stories. But what I can say is this. These products have helped me and shown me to believe that it really works.